Hey Scorpio, how are you? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If this reading hits home for you, I do encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. The extended is on Vimeo for February 2022. The link will be in the description box. I am available for personal love readings if you're interested. Check me out. All right, Scorps, let's see what's going on. What messages do we have for you guys? All right, Scorpio, the challenge for you guys is the lovers, okay? You could be dealing with the Gemini. There is a really strong connection here that you have with someone. I would call it uh, a spiritual connection of some sort. Now, it feels to me like you are in separation from someone, okay? Maybe someone uh, made a decision, okay? This is typically a choice. And it looks like someone here made a choice to perhaps not be together right now, okay? There could be a separation because of a... Um, some kind of disharmony amongst you guys. So let's see. Give me the recent past. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Wands in reverse. It looks like someone here uh, pulled away from this connection because the other person was being sneaky or trying to get away with something. I feel Scorpio, you know, this certainly could have been you. You could have felt like, well, I can't deal with that, you know? Seven of Swords is someone who um, tries to get away with something. They're, they're, they lie. They're dishonest. Um, they cheat, okay? So you could have been dealing with someone that you couldn't trust and you may have felt that they weren't really offering you what you needed. They weren't offering you the stability, the security. Maybe they weren't spending quality time with you. And I feel like there's the energy of kind of like deciding, you know what, I'm not going to put my effort into that. Okay, so I feel like there was a need for a change in direction because the direction in which this was heading was not the right one. All right, Scorpio, on your mind, um, I'm sorry, in the energy right now, presently, could be mutual okay between the both of you the knight of wands the four cups in reverse and the emperor in reverse it looks to me like the both of you guys mutually do want some kind of movement and change i feel like there is still a burning desire to be with each other there's still a lot of passion between you guys and also a lot of attraction so there is a desire to move forward because neither one of you guys wants to miss this opportunity to be with each other okay it's like something here has happened where there's some kind of division but this isn't what you guys want so there is an energy of someone feeling rejected, feeling like, oh, you don't care, you don't love me anymore, um, very much both in your feelings for each other. And it appears to me like even though you guys want change and movement, it's like no one is doing anything about it. So you could be feeling Scorpio like if this person wants me, how come they haven't moved toward me? How come they haven't reached out? And with the Emperor in reverse, this is someone that may not be very confident. They may not have a strategy or plan or they could be feeling like they were wrong, you know, and there could be some guilt associated with what they did. So let's see what the outcome looks like. What you can expect coming in, Scorpio, is the world in reverse. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Page of Cups. It looks to me like this is not done, okay? The world in reverse can be indicating of a cycle that has not closed yet. And it's telling me that you and this person will revisit this connection. It's bound to come back together or be addressed. There's some kind of reconnection. It also looks to me like with the Page of Cups, there could definitely be an apology coming in. This could be this person coming to you, Scorpio. Are you going to them? Apologizing, expressing yourself asking for forgiveness it also could just be expressing your heartfelt feelings and emotions for someone so it does look like there'll be a reconnection here um and i also feel like this reconnection could provide some kind of clarity um on one's feelings for you you know if you feel like i don't even know how this person feels to me they never tell me they never express it um you know they always deal with other people clearly they don't care about me there's something where you're getting more clear about where you stand okay so scorpio let's see what's on your mind on your mind is the two of swords in reverse and the nine of pentacles it looks to me like right now um scorpio you are thinking about well you <laughs> you're thinking about yourself the nine of pentacles a very single independent energy um it's solo but there's something here about maybe you newly being single now and really working getting on your two feet re-establishing yourself um working on your overall stability spending time in your home um it could be really focusing on your spirituality it could be anything money business um, but the two of swords in verse, there is a decision here that I feel like you've been in your head about 
we're gonna find out what this is about but if something here where either you're cutting out something or you're making a decision um a really difficult decision okay because it looks like you've been at a crossroads about it for some time um and this could be a decision to come toward this person with the page of cups because that is coming in the near future so let's see what's going on with this person what's in the foundation ten of pentacles in reverse we have the three of wands and the five of cups in reverse it looks to me like this is uh someone here that is recognizing that right now where things stand again isn't really where they want it um there is a lack of stability and structure in their life they feel like they ruined something here the ten of pentacles and verse so there could have been like a a marriage a home situation this is someone who feels like everything is incomplete without you like this isn't what where they wanted things to be now it does look like this person scorpio is waiting they're waiting for something maybe they're waiting for an opportunity to come in they could be waiting for movement waiting for change waiting for you to reach out to them but what is clear to me is that this person is really unhappy they're feeling very very guilty remorseful and um disappointed as to where things stand what they could have done there's a lot of regrets here okay for sure and so there's the energy of waiting for their opportunity waiting for their ships to come in okay so let's jump right in let's get some clarity for you guys scorpio if this is your reading i do encourage you to like share, comment and subscribe okay and your extended is on video all right the lovers give me the uh energy for the lovers give some clarification and truth please why is the lovers card here the lovers is clarified by the three of wands and a fool it looks to me like both of you guys are waiting for a new opportunity to come in okay the fool is waiting for a new path a new journey okay for a path to come open um the fool comes with risk, right? It's not going to be that easy. You can't just jump into something, although you'd like to. <laughs> um, but it looks to me like the three of wands is like there could be a break because uh, someone needing to kind of figure things out, figure out, well, how can we move forward? How can we have this new beginning? And that's the challenge, right? Trying to figure out, well, how can we move forward with this opportunity? Because it does appear that you and this person, Scorpio, wants another opportunity. There is a desire for forward movement. So you both could be literally waiting for each other. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like to me. It could be a Gemini on Aries. Give me the recent past energy here. Why is the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords is clarified by the Justice in verse with the Queen of Swords. So this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, strong Libra in energy. There's someone in the past that really... Um, may have said something okay i feel like there could have also been an act here where you felt that that was unfair they did an injustice to you that was so wrong i can't trust you um this is someone who may have betrayed your trust okay the seven of swords they cheated they were dishonest about it there's something this person did okay now give me the energy of the knight of pentacles in reverse the emperor and the page of swords i feel like a lot of you um you could have been this emperor energy, okay? Or this could be your person. Maybe you expected a lot from them to be this emperor for you. But it looks to me that Scorpio, there was a need to get back in control over a situation. Now, I do feel with the Page of Swords, you could have found out something. Um, Page of Swords, you know, maybe you went digging for it. Maybe you were doing some investigating. You went on social media and you saw something you didn't want to see. Um, and you felt like, wow, how could you do that? You know, the justice is in reverse. There's something this person did said whatever you found out you felt like that was so wrong how could you um but it looks to me like with the emperor there's something about you getting back in control of the situation and by in order to get in control of the situation some of you guys are having to completely uh remove yourself from the situation uh detach um no longer invest in it pull back there's something about you making a decision based off of what you found out okay so and I think that was necessary for you to like detach, pull back or something because again, there's a need for you to get back in control of the chaos, okay, in your life. So give me the energy of, give me the Knight of Wands. This is a mutual energy for you guys. You both want change. You both want movement. Six of Wands. Yeah, look at that. You both want a victory in a situation regarding each other. You both want each other's attention. You want to be seen. You want to be recognized. You want to be acknowledged. You both very much are still very much passionate about each other. There's still a desire for change, movement, progress. Now, why is the Four of Cups here? Oops. Ace of Cups came out. Okay, it got turned around. Ace of Cups, a renewal of love to a sword. Um, you both don't want to miss an opportunity here. So the Ace of Cups is clarification that you both really, really do care about, care about each other. You do love each other. You want a new beginning in love. And that could be what that fool's about. 
a new beginning, a new opportunity, okay? Start off in a clean slate. However, this is going to be a difficult decision because the way it looks like right now, even though mo both of you guys don't want to miss an opportunity to be with each other, neither one of you guys are being that force of change. The emperor is in reverse. It's almost like, well, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to stand here. I'm not going to come up with a plan of action. I'm not going to come up with a strategy. I'm just going to let things kind of, you know, be where it is right now. So neither one of you guys are really doing anything about it. So and I think the reason is because the two of swords, the two of swords can be literally at a crossroads at a stalemate, right? And when you're in a two of swords energy, unfortunately, there's not much movement, there's not much change, and it can feel kind of stuck, right? So I think that what it looks like to me is that you both are thinking about a new beginning, you want a new beginning in love, a new opportunity, a new relationship. You both love each other and care about each other, but there's something here that's keeping things stalled. And it could be the fact that you guys aren't seeing a way forward right now. And that's why you're waiting. Three wands came out twice. And, you know, the two swords, you're blinded. You know, if you see this particular card, this person is blinded. You, you cannot see right now a way forward. So give me the emperor in reverse. Why is the emperor in reverse? Queen of cups. And we have the high priestess in reverse. Now, the High Priestess in verse could be about, you know, revealing something, the veil coming off. I feel with the Queen of Cups energy, that's your energy, right, Scorpio? I feel like your person is trying to, um, you know, there could be something revealed that's going to allow them to be able to move forward, to be able to, uh, to, to figure out a way how to move forward. Because when the High Priestess comes out in a verse, it's almost like something is coming out. Something is being revealed, okay? So... I also feel like some of you guys, the reason why they haven't come forward is because whatever is being revealed, it's like they don't know how you're going to respond to it. And they could be literally holding back and waiting because the five of cups is here. There's something that they're regretting. There's something that they wish they hadn't done. Okay. So two of swords. Why is the two of swords here for Scorpio? Some kind of head of a heart decision. Two of wands. There's a big decision you're making because the two of swords, two of wands definitely indicating of, you know, divisions. Which way do I go? And it's regarding the Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, you guys are having to make a big decision, maybe regarding money, uh, finances, assets, okay? Or just commitment, okay? You've been making a big decision regarding how you want to move forward with this person. If you even see the Ten of Pentacles with them. Because if you don't see the Ten of Pentacles with them, why would you even go toward them, right? So, you know, there's something about you also working on yourself. Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. You only want to invest in opportunities that are good for you in the long run right so let's see what's going on with this person we do have the ten of pentacles in verse so whatever they did i feel like they ruined or, or caused some damage to the foundation of this connection we have yeah the tower damn talking about damage right this person it's in their energy so they're the ones who was responsible for this tower for creating a lot of havoc destruction chaos um they destroyed something that that could have been very very strong and lasted a lifetime i mean something here with the lover's card i mean i feel like this was a really strong connection at one point now with the ten of pentacles in verse i um and a tower i feel like this can also be the reason why your person's in this energy of regrets or more it's okay i feel horrible for what i did um in the tower it could be also bringing forth a lot of change okay a lot of uncomfortable change but necessary change it also could bring enlightenment epiphanies clarities on situations now why is the three of wands or something where this person's waiting the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles in verse so this person feels like they missed an opportunity they see you nine of pentacles they see you standing firm strong all by yourself you don't need anybody to complete you you know i'm the boss that kind of energy right so they feel like there's something about this person having to wait um feeling like you kind of got away let me wait let me figure this out why is the five of cups here disappointments regrets the hangman so yeah they're trying to figure things out when the hangman comes out it's like literally let me assess this let me figure this out let me try to come up with a plan let me look at this from other perspectives other point of views let me see it from scorpio's pair lens so i can understand what they're going through so your person before they come in um again there's a waiting energy because they need to figure out well how am i going to correct this how am i going to um rebuild the damage that i created with this damn tower whatever this tower is representing in this connection right so i do feel they'll eventually get some clarity um after being in hangman for some time it could be a pisces here and it does appear that there'll be an apology page of cups what is this apology about King of Swords and Verse, maybe about this person being very dishonest, lying to you, um, betraying your trust, not not being um, upfront with you, 
ten of wands they're feeling burdened by it so this person will apologize to reduce the burden that they're carrying with regard to a mistake they made with regard to being dishonest untruthful um there's something here this person wants to like let me apologize so i can just let this go i don't want to deal with this anymore so yeah there's an apology maybe you know also because they hurt you obviously but because they want to reduce the burden that they're carrying that's what it looks like to me and then what are you becoming clear about why is the seven of cups oops in reverse the sun in the verse and a five of cups in verse. So that five of cups keeps coming out because it's their energy. What it looks like they're becoming clear about, not you. What they're becoming clear about is that they're really unhappy. The sun in verse. They're not happy where they stand with you. They sure weren't happy with those other options that they may have had that they kind of chose over you. Some of you guys, they chose other people over you, right? Five of cups is a lot, again, regret, remorse. I can't believe I did that. That was so wrong of me. I should have never done that. And the sun in verse is that, um, again, unhappy place. And also... Becoming clear that, you know, you, you were the one. There's some kind of enlightenment with the sun card. You were the one that they should have had all along. That they should have, again, realized that you were the best for them. The world in verse could be lessons, big karmic lessons, clearing out of karmic debt. Um, but with that comes clarity, truth, epiphanies, realizations here, okay? About life, life past, um, spiritual connections, right? So, that is what I'm seeing, Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to get one Oracle card for you guys to finish off this reading today. And if this reading is home, um, yeah, show me some love and support. Check out your extended reading on Vimeo. It says igniting courage, okay? I am strong, valiant, and courageous. Um, it, it looks like that Nine of Wands energy that's coming out in the current <laughs> energy between you guys. So this is the energy here. This is courage, right? Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. Courage to move forward, to have some kind of victory, accomplishment, achievement. So it looks like right now there's some kind of ignition. There's something starting back up in the energy between you and your person, Scorpio, that's going to allow this person to finally move forward with courage, take action. We have this writer energy, right? And it's all about action. So that is what I'm seeing, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Have a great weekend, and I wish you all the best. All right? Take care.